everyone, I'm Olivia, and today we're going to be talking about QR codes. Now, I've done a ton of research and I have found the very best one, so I'll save you the time and I'll tell you which one you should be using and why. When you're looking to make a QR code, you want it to be fast, reliable, potentially dynamic, which means you can change the link after you've made it, and maybe customizable. Flow code is a new type of QR code generator that does all of that and more. It provides data and analytics. Um, the customization tool is incredible and really there are so many opportunities within Flow code to make a really impressive looking QR code that will hopefully get you a ton of scans. Whether you're a small business, a nonprofit, a restaurant, or an entrepreneur, there are so many ways that you can incorporate Flow code into um, your daily business practices. I'm gonna walk you through how to make one. It could not be easier. You guys will see for yourselves when you go and make yours. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm starting in Google and going to flowcode.com. Already I'm hit with the words free QR code that never expires, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and make our code. So here on the left, you can choose your destination for where your code ends up. I'm already loving that you can upload a file. So if you want it to go to an image, a video, Google Doc, so on and so forth. There are really so many opportunities here. For today, I'm gonna to keep it simple and I'm going to make a flow code for my favorite coffee shop. Step two, I'm gonna enter the website I want my code to go to. So for today's purpose, I'm going to make my code go to the coffee shop menu. Once we have uploaded our destination, in my case, a website. We are gonna scroll down to do step three, which is to design the code. Learn. This is really unique. I think I'm gonna go with this circular design. Now let's choose a color. So as I mentioned, I am making my code for the coffee shop that I absolutely love and their color is red. So I'm gonna choose red. And then as for theme, I think I'm going to go for this one. And then lastly, you can add your center image. So in this case, I'm going to upload the logo. So as you can see, the cafe's logo is now populated there in the center of the code, which makes it very personalized. Once you are happy with your final code, you then plug in your email address and get the code sent to you. For this code, I want it to be in a JPEG. So you can choose what file type you want. And then I'm gonna plug in my email. Then your code will be sent to your email and you're good to go. This is what the finished flow code looks like after you have downloaded it. And this is, you know, just a sneak peek at what your dashboard will look like once you have made an account. The world is really your oyster when it comes to what you can do with these codes once you've made it. I'm going to quickly show you how to pop it into a Zoom background. So, you know, while you're communicating over Zoom, you can get people scanning your codes and checking out your web page or any destination. All right, so if you want your flow code to be your icon on Zoom, then you can head over to your Zoom dashboard and click change. You can change the icon to the flow code you just created, press save. Now head into Zoom. Here you can see the code is now my icon. I'm obviously not on Zoom with anyone right now, but when you stop sharing your video, then you can see that it will pop up. That's it, that's all you have to do to make a flow code. And you know, as you saw, it really cannot be easier. So hope you enjoyed this video and go make your flow code. Bye.